Hey everybody, this is Melissa. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm in Excel and I'm going to show you how to do a 3D reference. And what this allows us to do is take data from multiple worksheets and combine it into one worksheet. So for example, I have annual sales data for products broken down by quarter for the USA, Europe, Asia, and Australia. And what I want Excel to do is to combine all of these into this total worksheet. So one way we can accomplish that is we can sum them all up. We can do equals sum, open our parentheses, USA, B6 plus Europe, B6 plus no. We don't want to do it that way. That will take forever. So I'm going to show you an easier way to do that. So let's remove that formula. So we are going to do an equals sum and open our parentheses. But we're going to click on the USA tab. We're going to hold our shift key. And we're going to come over to Australia. Now, don't let go of your shift key yet because there's one more thing we have to do. Then we're going to go up to B6 and click there. Let go of your shift key and hit enter. And now what it's done is it has taken cell B6 from the USA, Europe, Asia, and Australia, calculated it, and put it into quarter one or B6. So now we want to do the same thing for the rest of these cells. So let's go ahead and drag it over and let go and drag it all the way down and let go. When we do it like that, some of our formatting that we had is gone. And I don't want to have to go in and redo this formatting, and I'm sure you don't have time to either. So I'm going to show you how we work around that. So let's undo that. So if we drag this over and let it go, we get this autofill options box. If we click on it, do fill without formatting. Drag it down and do the fill without formatting one more time. And now you have your data, your calculations, and you've kept your formatting. And that is how you use the 3D reference in Excel. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to like it, subscribe to my channel, and get notified. And I'll be back tomorrow with another tutorial. Thanks so much for watching.